Welcome back to A to Z Animals, where today we ask the question, how deep is Lake Mead? But before we get into this video, please consider subscribing with post notifications on so that you'll never miss an upload. Lake Mead sports a surface area of 247 square miles, and its magnificent shoreline measures 759 miles. This lake extends more than 110 miles upstream from Hoover Dam to the head of the Grand Canyon. It supports diverse recreational activities like fishing, boating, camping, and swimming. But how deep is Lake Mead? Lake Mead has a maximum depth of more than 532 feet. This massive reservoir is the largest in the U.S., having a capacity of 28,945,000 acre feet. The reservoir was part of the original construction of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River between Nevada and Arizona. So, when dam construction was over in 1936, Lake Mead began to fill soon after. Since its creation, Lake Mead has been an important water source for the Southwest. The reservoir stores water released from Hoover Dam and distributes it to municipal and agricultural users in Arizona, California, and Nevada. In addition, Lake Mead helps regulate the flow of the Colorado River and supports several endangered species. The Colorado River feeds Lake Mead together with three smaller tributaries, the Virgin River, the Muddy River, and the Peria River. And the Colorado River is one of North America's longest rivers, starting its 1,450-mile journey in the Rocky Mountains and ending in the Gulf of California. Moreover, the Virgin River is the longest of Lake Mead's tributaries, running 225 miles from Utah to Nevada. Besides, the Muddy and Peria Rivers are about 100 miles long. Lake Mead's water is a vital resource for the Southwest. About 75% of the water goes to irrigation for agriculture, supplying around 60% of the food for the nation. Nearly 40% of Arizona's water supply comes from Lake Mead. The water also helps to power several hydroelectric dams that produce a portion of the Southwest's electricity. Lake Mead's water levels have been fluctuating quite a bit lately. The lake hit its lowest point in 2007 and has been on the rise since then, but it is still well below its capacity. In fact, as of the fall months of 2017, the lake was at about 40% capacity with about 10 million acre feet of held water. Lake Mead and the second largest U.S. reservoir, Lake Powell, compete for capacity bragging rights. However, as of 2013, Lake Powell is actually in the lead. Lake Mead reached its peak capacity in 1983, but has declined since then. The main driver behind this decline is the decreasing snowpack in the mountains that feed the two lakes. The Colorado River Basin has been experiencing a drought for 16 years now, and it does not seem that will let up anytime soon. Lake Mead is in big trouble. The reservoir's water level has dropped so much that it is now half empty. Scientists predict that it will probably never fill up to capacity again. This situation is a significant problem for the more than 22 million people who rely on the reservoir for their water supply. The water levels are also affecting the Southwest's environment, which is closely tied to the fate of the Colorado River. There are many reasons for Lake Mead's decreasing water levels. The main one is climate change, which causes less rain and snowfall in the area. The other factors include the ever-growing population of the Southwest and the subsequent increasing demand for more water. But there are some things authorities can do to solve this problem. One is to reduce the amount of water that they use. Another is to find new ways to store and use water. So, there is now an initiative known as the Fill Lake Mead First Proposal, which aims to improve water situations for Lake Mead. However, if things do not start to improve soon, there could be some major issues in the coming years. Lake Mead is among the most popular tourist destinations in the U.S. The vast body of water is a popular spot for boating and water sports, kayaking, canoeing, swimming, sunbathing, and some of the nation's best sport fishing. This lake is also a great place to relax and take in the area's natural beauty. Situated near Las Vegas, Lake Mead is a convenient destination for visitors to the city. It is also close to other popular tourist destinations, such as the Grand Canyon and Zion Natural Park, making it a sought-after vacation destination. Lake Mead National Recreation Area is the home of assorted plants and animals that grow nowhere else in the world. This indigenous characteristic is due to the area's location at the junction of three of the nation's four desert ecosystems, Mojave, Great Basin, and Sonoran Deserts. This spot also means that the area is home to many plants and animals uniquely adapted to the desert climate. Some of the most most notable plant and animal species near Lake Mead include the Joshua Tree, Bighorn Sheep, Burrows, and Hummingbirds. The Joshua Tree is a unique spectacle in the Mojave Desert, where it is also an indigenous plant. Additionally, 
bighorn sheep only inhabit the Rocky Mountains and western states. Burrows were introduced to the area in the 1930s and have since become a staple of the local wildlife. Finally, hummingbirds are common throughout the southwest but particularly abundant near Lake Mead. The diverse assortment of plant and animal life near Lake Mead is one of its biggest attractions. Visitors can see everything from cacti and scorpions to trout and bald eagles. There is something for everyone to enjoy in this unique corner of the world. Did you find this interesting? Leave that in the comments below! Subscribe for more animal content like this.